Several inland area swimmers are off to a great start at the CIF Southern Section Swim Championships at RCC. I'm Pep Fernandez, and this is the HS Game Time Roundup. Wednesday marked prelims for Divisions 3 and 4. Let's go D3. In the boys' 200-yard freestyle, Riverside Pauly's Garrett Shimko clocked the third best time to lead four locals in this event who advanced to the finals. In the girls' 200 IM, Lindsay Clary from Riverside Pauly and the younger sister of Olympic gold medalist Tyler Clary recorded the second fastest time behind Ella Easton from Crane Lutheran. Clary put up the best time later on the night in the 500 free. To the boys 200 IM, North's Kyle Perez will enter the finals with the best qualifying time from the prelims. Perez was the only swimmer to crack two minutes, posting a time of one minute, 59.16 seconds. In the girls 50 freestyle, Queen Lutheran's Lindsay Engel set a new Division III meet record, breaking the old mark set by Olympian Dara Torres back in 1985. In the boys 100 butterfly, Woodcrest Christian Scott Woodbeck is headed to the finals with the second best time, 53.19 seconds. And in the boys 100 free, we have another Shimko sighting. The Polly Bear touches the wall with the third best time overall to punch another ticket to the finals. Hey, here, Mark. Division four in the pool on Wednesday morning. In the boys, 50 freestyle, Temescal Canyon's Devin Deckert wins his heat and posts the second fastest time heading into Friday's finals. It's now to the boys, 100. Deckert is the swimmer to beat. He clocked the fastest time during prelims and has the inside track to win CIF. Here's Devin Deckert. Uh, the 50 for prelims, I missed my flip turn, so I'm not really satisfied with that time. Um, my 100 right there, 47.5. Um, personal best this season, so I'm happy with that time. So how do you feel about both events as you head to the finals now? Um, I'm feeling really confident and uh, really good. Um, ranked second for the 50, first for the 100. Um, hoping I should pull off the Seattle Championship for both events. Deckard's dominance during prelims was matched by Citrus Valley's Kaylee Mora and the girls 100 butterfly. Mora went for a new personal record, touching the wall at 56.94 seconds. She has the top time heading to the finals. Totally ecstatic. I haven't gotten a 56 yet, and I'm on a 56.6 by Friday. So how do you feel going into the finals now with a time like that? I'm excited. I'm not going to go in too cocky. I need to like stay, you know, confident in myself, but I'm going to try to go in and do my best and swim the rest of my life. The swimming highlights continue on Thursday, so keep it tuned to HS Game Time. I'm Pep Fernandez with the HSGT Roundup.